Workers at two Mercedes-Benz factories near Tuscaloosa, Alabama, voted against allowing the United Automobile Workers to represent them, dealing a significant blow to the union's campaign to gain ground in the South. The defeat followed opposition from Alabama's governor and other Republican leaders, who argued that a pro-union vote could impact the state's auto industry. The outcome of the vote, which had national significance, raises doubts about the UAW's ability to organize workers at other auto plants in Alabama. Despite the setback, union leaders remain determined to continue their efforts to expand membership and counter-opposition from local lawmakers and company executives. The close outcome of the vote, with 56% of workers voting no and 44% voting yes for unionization, highlights the challenges faced by the UAW in the southern United States. The union's recent successes, including a victory at a Volkswagen plant in Tennessee, had raised hopes for a growing organizing wave, but the defeat at the Mercedes plants underscores the obstacles in organizing non-unionized factories in the region. UW President Sean Fain acknowledged the loss but emphasized the need to learn from it and move forward. The union's efforts to organize workers at non-union auto factories across the U.S., including foreign automakers with plants in the South, face resistance from state officials and companies. The UAW's strategy to build on recent wins and expand its reach to include employees of companies like Toyota and Tesla may require more groundwork following the setback at the Mercedes factories. The union's campaign to organize workers at 13 non-union auto factories in the U.S. aims to address issues such as wages and working conditions, but faces challenges in regions where organized labor has historically been weaker. The outcome of the vote in Alabama reflects broader tensions between labor unions, state governments, and corporations, highlighting the complexities of organizing efforts in the auto industry. Despite the defeat, the UW remains committed to its goal of organizing every automobile factory in the country and will continue its efforts to secure support from workers and navigate opposition from various stakeholders.